Wireshark users. In this video, I want to show you another really cool feature of Wireshark called packet comments. And this is something that was added to Wireshark a little while back. I've been meaning to make a video about this. I use this all the time when I'm troubleshooting and I want to show you how to use it. So let's go ahead and start up Wireshark. And I'm going to do a very simple capture here just on my local ethernet interface. So there's Ethernet. You can see I have traffic here. So this will be capturing just a bunch of traffic, but I'll insert some traffic so that we can find it and then uh, add comments like we would have if we were troubleshooting. So I'm just going to do a, just a simple capture. This is in my default profile, as you can see. And there we go. Okay, it's doing a little capture. We're up to 50, 60, 70. All right, so very good. Now, what I want to do is let's create some traffic here. So I'm going to ping the default gateway 1.1. That will add some ICMP echo replies and requests, obviously, uh, into the traffic. So very good. Let's go back and stop the packet capture. All right, so let's filter for that ICMP traffic. So just ICMP and uh, you can see I have a green background, that's good. And here they are, request reply, request reply, request reply, request reply. So I see four events. I see that matches right back here for replies. So, so good, right? Now, let's say that I wanted to make a comment on this of some kind. So what you do is you select the packet by highlighting it and then right click and say packet comment. So let's add a comment. This is a ping request to the default gateway. And we'll say OK. And then here we'll add another packet comment. This is a reply to the ping request. Right, very simple concept. Now, normally in these comments, you can actually write quite a bit of information and cut and paste stuff from a text editor or whatever regarding where you did the capture, you know, customer record, whatever. All of this becomes now part of this capture. So I'm going to say OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up here to the first packet. So I have to leave that packet. I could go to actually any other packet, but as long as you just go away and come back, you will see that at the very top of the packet details, it says packet comments. And if you open this up, you can see the exact comment that I put in there. Okay, so this is the packet comment and it says this is a ping request to the default gateway. Now, another thing that would be really handy is to have this as a column. Now, if I add this as a column, remember I am modifying my default profile and you know may or may not want to do that maybe you would create a different profile with the packet comments added in and i've got a link up in the top corner here if you want to see that video on how to create different profiles and the power of the profiles for now i'm just going to do it here and then i'll remove it so that i don't actually affect my default profile okay so what i want to do now to add it as a column is right click on this and say apply as a column. And you'll see the packet comment column has been added just to the left of the info column and after the length column. So there we go, right? So we can now sort of add comments to this as we go. For example, if I wanted to go here and say packet comment, this is the last ping attempt and they all worked. And I can say OK. And you can see this now shows up in the packet list along with the other comments. So this is a great way to add content, if you will, to the packet capture. And you can save this, right? So when you say file save as and you save this, these packet comments are saved. Now, this is if you're using the dot pcap ng extension because it's with the NG that these comments can now be saved. The other thing that's sort of interesting to know about this is if you click on the little Wireshark expert info button down here, which is one of the things I always do whenever I start troubleshooting, you will notice that at the bottom of this list, 
Wireshark has the packet comments and what packets had the comments. So you can jump back and forth between these. This is really handy when, well, let's take, let's get rid of the filter and jump to the top, right? So now we wonder where are those packet comments? And we could start scrolling and scrolling and looking for them. Or again, the easiest way, just go here, go to the packet comments, open this up, and then jump to the packet of interest by just clicking on it. You can see in the background that Wireshark jumped to packet 3, 361, if I'm just going to move this out of the way. And there we go. Now we can see the comments. So this is a quick way to find the comments that you perhaps placed in a packet capture that you were working on or that you were analyzing. Again, this is all savable, and then you can repeat this process on another system or later or whatever. So that's a great overview, I hope, for you of how to use packet comments. I use them all the time, especially when I'm troubleshooting, when I'm making mental note. Plus, this creates a great record, if you will, so that when you're troubleshooting, you can create this information, this evidence, and you can annotate this evidence. So you can also help when you share your packet capture with somebody, like let's say you found a problem and you're trying to share with them exactly what happened, by adding these packet comments, you can help to direct them to where stuff is and what they should be looking at and what it means. So I use this all the time, a lot of different use cases for it. I hope you find a great use case for it and I hope you use packet comments in Wireshark. Thanks for watching and don't forget, to capture every day. See you in the next video.